What is up guys, Major Magpie here and welcome back to another Spin Tires mod. This time we're taking a look at this sexy little beast. This is the Kamaz Master 635050. This is a beautiful looking thing. Look at all them lights here. Oh, you can't see. Uh, yeah, this thing would be sitting at about 720 brake horsepower, which is quite impressive. But what is even more impressive is the amount of torque this thing would be throwing out. 2,750 torques. <whistles> that is a whole lot of torques. Yeah, we just back this up into the garage then. Have a look and see what mods. This thing has got. And that's all you've got, the Dakar Abradovani. <laughs> Which is basically just tires and stuff for the roof, but we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it. Okay guys, hey, I'm on a custom map designed by Roman Magnet. It is called, what is it called? Teha. And it's a good little map. I've had a little look around. Uh, you get seven vehicles. Just have a look at the map. There's a lot of cloaks. Uh, seven vehicles, two garages, two fuel depots, and four objective points. Uh, five, is it? Sorry. Two for five, yep. Five objective points. Uh, I have gone ahead and replaced four of the vehicles that you get in this map, four of the seven with vehicles that I would like to showcase, because I thought we could do a couple of episodes on this map, uncloaking it, and maybe do a trip on the objective. So what I've gone as I've what I've done is I've gone ahead and planted uh, some mods that I would like to show you guys. Uh, and if I get over the next couple of episodes, we could just go ahead and showcase them. So we're going to start with this, and we'll go and do some uncloaking. This is our first skeleton vehicle, if you like. <laughs> yeah, right, we're gonna start by going across this bridge, eh? If I can make it. Beautiful. Look at that. This does have no income view. <laughs> I think this is pretty pretty in cam view. If you like, I think this mod goes all the way back to April, which is way before they decided they were going to release the update for the in cam view. Oh, this is a bit precarious. Crazy angles. Come on, level out before I fall over. Alright, let's just have a look and see where our cloaks are then. So, we are here. I'm thinking we'll probably just head around the edge of this map and just get as many cloaks as we can in like 20 minutes or something. Uh, so our first cloak should be just in front of us somewhere. I'm guessing behind this hill. Let's take the brake off and head round the hill and we'll follow the little track that goes round the side there. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. It's stuck in. Oh, ha <laughs> things off to. Come on. Let's stay on the track. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't want to stay on the track. Doesn't want to stay on the track at all. 
Let's try and hug it. Let's take this with car. And there's our first cloak, anyways. I'm not gonna look at the map, so let's see. Let's have a look at the map. Right, so we've done that one then. Let's head. It looks like there's a bridge up and we can go down. Should we head? We'll go down over first. This down looks like it heads wider than if we want to go up. It might be a bad idea to go across here. Oh. It's going. It's going. Our 720 brake horsepower is just driving us through it. I'm try and go around this ditch. Want to be rolling? I suppose this thing's got enough torque to conquer anything. back around. <laughs> this thing's a beast, this. I've actually drove this a few times because as I say this mod came out in April I think it was. I would start doing the rounds in April anyway and I test, test drove it all the way back then. But it's one of my favourite mods. It's, really, uh, it's cool. say a track there so I'm gonna try and follow the track on the outer edge don't want to go for the middle in case we sink this, this is getting a little deep on one side anyways diff on it stops and starts like that. If I switch it off, it goes, but it's just doing it wrong now. It doesn't go then. <laughs> Second cloak in them. Ah, that's not quite a bit of the map as well. There's a vehicle there. Um, I suppose we'd just follow the track, couldn't we? One thing about this map, guys, is all of the vehicles that I've put in, I've, some of them have got issues, so they're fully damaged or they've got no fuel and stuff, but you can't actually uh, recover them at the garage. So I'll we'll have to take either fuel or utility points to them to fix them or to refuel them and then drive them back to the garage so I'll probably do that off cam and then start each episode from the garage so we can really showcase what is in what attachments it can get for it Trap up there. Zooming that goes up to our vehicle. Um, I think I might. I'm gonna head up there. I'm gonna reverse up so we can come back down this way. Test me reversing skills. 
really weary about is, is toppling. I mean, I've drove some mods in that way, they're super top heavy, you know, and you hit the slightest divot, and things doing like, you know, 720 degree roll, sideways. <laughs> Seed in this dropper in, this Kamaz. Just want to have a look and see what the issues are. It's got very little fuel and it's quite heavily damaged, but it is drivable, so I'm not going to do anything to it. Regarding points, I'm just going to head on, continue our journey in this. Right, next, we can, I suppose we can just keep following that road that we'll be on, and hopefully that'll take us to the next cloaking point down there. Uh, and then that'll be quite a good achievement. Three cloaking points in quite a short space of time, really. Not much of a view of that. How about you, beast? Do it. It is a really good looking mod, this. I'll leave a link in the video, guys, obviously, to the map and to this mod. Because these guys want to check them out. But I'm also going to leave a link to a video that I was watching, uh, which just shows this doing donuts and drifting and actually showing what sort of power it's got. Because it is a bit of an animal. Uh, I suggest you take a look. It's pretty cool. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Oh, we're taking a trench. Come on. Got this. That's it for that broken point, so let's go. Cool. again. There's another vehicle just in front of us. Stay on this track, couldn't we? Just keep following it down. There's the vehicle there, and I can see that the bridge is out. There's also a road that follows to the right there. I'll just spin around. We're facing the right way, there we go. Goes to the right. I'm actually going to follow that round because I don't think this is going to do too well falling off that bridge. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be deep as well. It's a mud. Come on, little Kamaz. Oh, big Kamaz. Ah, it's doing it. It's just making tracks. So, yes, man. Problem. <laughs> I go in. Oh, yeah, I'm guessing. Come on. Easy. <laughs> Guess I'm a bat on the track, are we? I think this is where we, yeah, this is where we were, wasn't it? So I'm gonna back up and unlock that vehicle, whatever it is. 
take a look and see what it exactly is actually, because it might be one of the ones we're going to showcase. Yes, it is a little man 4x4. Four four. Not so much little. Is that unlocked then? Let's continue on this road then. If we don't get stuck, that is. Can I drive out here? Off the track and on the grass. That's better. Sun's starting to go down as well, uh, and again, like I do on my previous um, episodes, I'm not going to drive in the dark because it takes away the ambiance. You can't really see the level properly or appreciate it. I feel. So we will see the night through off camp. I suppose there's nothing harm in doing a little bit in the dark, is there? Where's the next cloaking point then? I'll drive to the next cloaking point. It's about to get dark, but I'll drive to the next cloaking point. As long as it's easy enough to find anyways, and then... Let's see where we go from there. This is quite a good map, this. It's a... Uh a lot of one way routes and stuff, but it's it's got its little challenges. Like I say, the fact that you can't recover all the vehicles to the garage uh, once you find them is obviously a cool. It's something that would come under the hard mode if you were to play it in hard, you wouldn't be able to recover your vehicles. But just that, so you've got to take your utility points and your fuel points to go and fuel whichever wagon it is you're chasing. Come on. Come on. Come on. I keep calling it a little, it's far from a little. I think this would be like a utility vehicle. It would have like beds and, and baths and showers and kitchens and whatever else inside. But when you're on the road, I think that's what it's used for. Don't quote me on that though. Right, so up there is the garage. We don't need to do because we haven't got any garage points. We're just going to continue on to the lumber yard. And the floating point should be quite easy to find the fact that it's in the lumber yard. So, oh, my headlights on. This darkness descends. I love how the flowers glow in the door. <laughs> Turn the lights up and all the flowers glow in the door so we actually don't even need headlights. This thing does have a lot of headlights though, doesn't it? Right. So we've done that. Um, need, this thing needs fuel. Hmm. I think I'm going to try and unmask one more cloaking point. There's a road that runs up there. I'm guessing this goes to the fuel level, so we're going to have a look up here. Um, I would like to do one more cloaking point before we switch off. I know I said I wasn't going to drive for the dock, but I'm actually going to, because... Just so I can get this done. Uh, I would like to find another modded vehicle, if possible, and then we can just... start with whatever vehicle it is we've found. I suspect we might start the next episode with a man. 
come up and say what's up, yeah. This thing's very non-dramatic. It's just getting the job done. Might as well just start leaning a bit here. <laughs> A bit antsy. Where's it gone? Where's the fuel there? How do I get the feeling that we've just gone on in a circle? That's where the fuel. I'll take a look at the map. Boom. Up as well, cool. Yeah, we have actually just done a circle. Uh, okay, so we're not going to head for that clone point, then we'll get on to get onto this road and see where it goes. Can't that is, anyways. Little camera on that. There's the number yard, that's what we just that before. So we have done a massive circle, but not to worry. This means we can head back up the road when we're just coming down. Um, what can we? Actually, no. I'm going to head this way. I'm going to go to the floating points along here. Because this road goes there. But I'm not worry. That looks awesome, that. It looks beautiful. Oh, I've got some speed now. Some puddles as well. Ash, look at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, look at this thing go! Tidal wave, ahoy! <laughs> Come on, let's get some speed up again. Must have covered quite a bit of ground there. <laughs> what a legend. Another that cloaking point. I can, I can, I can. There it is there, right. So, let's go ahead and stop this here then. Let's just have a look, see where we are. We've actually uncovered a lot of the map. Um. Right, we are... Where are we? Where are we? all the way up here, aren't we? Yes. And we started here, we've got all the way around the outside. We've actually uncovered four cloaks, which isn't a bad... bad return. We're all the way down here. I think what I might do in the next one is go ahead and start the episode with this over here, which is the man. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We can go ahead and do that. Okay. So, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I will leave the links to both this Kamaz mod and the level, uh, which is TMR. Uh, but, yeah, until the next one, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.